Okay, this will be the seatbelt circuit if you are using multi-sim live. On regular multi-sim, it looks like this. Um, and <coughs> we will want to or, and need to make some changes. Um, first of all, the 5 volts can't be 5 volts. You will have to uh, use a, a digital constant. Um, and instead of the probe, you will need a an LED, a resistor, and a ground. Um, you won't be able to search by the gate number. You'll have to know the, the name and what type of gate it is. Okay, so if we go back to multi-sim live here. First thing, just to point out, is you have some settings on the gear tab and one of the things you sometimes may need to do, depending upon the circuit, is make the uh, make the piece of paper bigger that you're drawing on. 150 by 100. I don't know. I don't know what the maximum size is. I'm sure there is. Of course, the bigger the circuit is, the more complicated this is going to be uh, working online. So let's see. If we look at this too. It's also, we're usually best having our switches oriented vertically instead of horizontally. Um, and that's kind of called bussing your switches. So I'm going to build my switches vertical instead of horizontal. Um, just makes it a little simpler. And when you get into more complicated circuits, you'll see why. So I'm going to bring in a ground. And then down here under digital components is the digital constant. And I need it to be a high, but if I hit this toggle, that's how it toggles from 0 to 1. Okay, and then I also need some single pull double throw switches. So let's bring in that switch. And... <laughs> Let's call that first one the seat belt. So when I label it, I just want to label it with an S for seat belt. And let's rotate it around so it's going the right direction. Okay, and once I have it, I can duplicate it. Well, the second one is the key, so I'll change that label to K and duplicate it. And the third label is the door. Okay, so the best way to draw these wires, keep them consistent the side of the switch that you're drawing to. So I'm going to wire that left side of the switch to ground, and I'm going to go to the farthest one first. And then, of course, that one goes to ground, and that one goes to ground. And then I'm going to draw the farthest one away first. We'll go to power. and then connect each one of those to power. Okay, and then the seat belt needs to be inverted. Um, so let's bring in digital gate, that would be an inverter. And usually what you do is you bring in An inverter for each one of these but don't need that yet at this point so there is the seat belt OK, 
Okay, so seatbelt gets inverted. And then what else do we have? The seatbelt gets inverted. That gets anded. So if the seatbelt is not on and the key is in the ignition. So the seat belt is not on and the key is in the ignition. So I need an AND gate. So two input AND gate. So So seat belt not on and key is in the ignition. <coughs> and or it's or if the door is open, the buzzer will be on. So an OR, let's get a two input OR gate. And then the output for that, of course, I'm going to need a resistor. That resistor size needs to be, yeah, 300 will work. Needs to be smaller than a 1K. And then I need an LED. And that's under the the LE lamps there. And then that also needs to be grounded. Okay, so at this point my circuit would work, um, but just to help with your understanding, let's add some connectors and some probes. So under, hmm, where is it, the ground? Yep, there's the ground. Let's add a connector. So let's rotate that around. Okay, that first connector not S. And then we'll rename this one. Okay. And we'll rename this one D for door. <laughs> and 
And then if we would want to, we could also add some digital probes so we can actually see what is on and off as we are going through our truth table. Of course, that's the seatbelt. And that's the key. That's the door. <coughs> okay, of course, this uh, multi sim live does not save. So even though it's cloud based, you have to save your file. And you can probably create subfolders and stuff like that. I don't know. I haven't done that much with it. Okay, so now we have our circuit built. We can press play and go through our simulation. So now you'll want to go through your truth table. And the buzzer should be on when the seat belt is not on and the key is in the ignition or it'll be on if the door is open. Okay, so as we go through that, right now, the buzzer's not on. No big deal. Um, if you, uh, if the door is open, and all of a sudden, now the light's on. Uh, door's closed. So then if the key is in ignition, door is closed, seat belt not on, uh, the light's on. Why? Because seat belt is not on and key is in the ignition. If the door is open, now it's on for two reasons actually. The door is open and the key is uh, in the ignition with the seat belt not on. And then if we have our seat belt on and the door is open, then well, just our seat belt on, the door is closed, the key not in the ignition, there no buzzer is on. If the seat belt is on and the door is open, the buzzer will be on. If the seat belt is on, door closed, key in the ignition, the buzzer's not on. And of course, if your seat belt is on, key in the ignition, but the door's open, the buzzer's on. Can't drive down the road with your door open. So that is the first combination of logic circuit built on Multisim Live. Okay, so hope that helps.